All right, guys, this is a bonus video, uh, kind of like a follow-up from the earlier live stream that I did today. Um, free advice, free advice. Like I said in the video, don't pay anybody. <laughs> Go on YouTube, figure it out. Um, but this is something, I want to show you this. I use Cyberlink. Cyberlink is what I use. Um, look it up online. I said they have a free download for one month free trial. Right there it is. Download it, do a free trial, see if you like it. Like I said, it's going to ask you information about your credit card and stuff. Just make sure you go back and unsubscribe or so just keep on billing you. Um, but they have a bunch of different uh, plans you can go with. I, I use the Unlimited. Unlimited is what I use. Uh, they have the Power Director 18 Unlimited with the Photo Director also in it. If you're into photo um, editing and stuff, which is kind of cool. Uh, if you're going to use that to create thumbnails, but I use unlimited it lists everything here That is with unlimited. There's a lot there a lot there um, But that like I said, that's what I use power director uh, 18 matter of fact, I just spent <laughs> This afternoon on my own researching different things about it uh, this is a new program I'm using with it, but let me show you how this works. Uh, Power Director, Cyberlink Power Director. Click on it, brings up your Power Director. You have, you're going to have to download this into your system. It brings up your screen here. This is your preview screen. This is your work screen here. These come up here automatically. I always remove them remove from library, drag, left click, drag, right click, remove from library. Um, now you have a blank screen, blank screen. You're ready to start your project. Um, come up here, import media, import media file. Left click on that. Now you gotta find your, where your files are at within your system. I have things under video. Uh, this is just an example of how how, how I do it uh, but it's it might seem difficult at first you bring up your file left click drag bring all your files and open an error occurred something an error occurred somehow somewhere along the way um, but there's all your files from your videos that you created all on the left hand side um, you guys always see that one that I always have that's under I'm, I'm importing another uh, file here up on pictures nope, wrong one videos there videos let me see I gotta see where I have these videos videos you see this like I said th this is a whole new setup for me, and I'm save pictures. There it is. Uh, here's my save pictures. This is the latest one I just put up. Philly in the Philippines. Uh, music. How you want to bring in music? Say you want to put music in your video. You got to find out where your music is. Bring in your music. Everything's loaded right here. All right. Now let me bring say this file down. You pull your file down into your timeline. Your timeline's right there. All right. I always use this in the beginning. This is what you guys always see in the beginning. You crossfade it in. Let me open this up, make a bigger timeline to work with. So there's what you always see in the beginning. Philly in the Philippines. You can pull you can pull that whatever you want in your picture. You don't even need to do that. But that's what you see. So let me kind of roll this here, show you how it works. See it fades out. Um, okay. Now say you want to put your music in. You've got multiple, let me pull this up. You got multiple timelines to work with. You can add more on and add more. Here are your timelines. You want to put music in here. Come down to your music. Left click.
drag it down to the next line. Now, you have that in there. If the music's too loud. Bring your cursor down. You'll see the arrow line up. And then left click and just pull it down a little bit. I always try to get the yellow lines. You guys see the yellow lines there? That means it's blaring. I always try to pull it down to where you don't have the yellow lines. So now you have the music there. Now, if I want to cut the video sound off of my video right here, my timeline, over here to the left, there's a little, looks like a little um, volume button. A little check there. You unclick that. Say I want to end the video and the music, I want it to work at the same time. You grab your left click, pull it all the way over to the end. I know that's annoying, but that's how they have it. And say I want to stop like right there. Left click on your on your timeline. I'm over here. This is a split. It splits the screen. It splits the section of the clip. Left click. Now it's split. You see it. To remove that, right click. Remove. Right there. Remove. If I want to do it here, down here, what I'll do is click on that line. In the file. Do the same thing. Split. It's split. Right click. Remove. Now. How do I fade it out? How do I fade my music out? This is how it works. CTRL on your screen. Click that. First of all, come here. Click that. CRT. You see that little, when you line up, there's a little dot. Left click. Slide over here. Left click again. Now you got two dots. Line that up. Make sure it's in the red. And then just pull it down by holding the left mouse and pulling it down that will fade out I want to fade out my screen left click double click here's the program fade it automatically comes up fade click the fade enable fade out hit OK come up you'll see the line right here come up when, it, when you line the dots up it's red Pull that up, left click, pull that over kind of to where your music fades out. All right. So these two will fade out at the same time. I'm going to come up here. I'm going to pull my screen back down by left clicking so I can see the whole screen at one shot. Movie. Take it to the end. Play. Now you can hear my voice from the video itself. It's gone. You are now hearing the music. Uh, if you do B-rolls, I'm going to talk over that. If you do B-rolls, like little clips, like five-second clips, two-second clips, whatever, B-roll, you've seen it. Um, you put them up, you kill off the sound, you put your music in there. Uh, this is kind of just like a beginner's thing I'm trying to teach. Um, like I said, this is just free advice. This is Power Director 18. This is what I use. Um, there are many, many, many out there. There's free ones. You're not going to get as, you're not going to get all those options of the free ones as you will off of this one. Um, there's more expensive ones out there. There's ones out there that pay monthly. But anyways, that's how that works. Let me drag this over here to the end so you can see the fade out. I know it's very noisy. Music fades, video fades. You can always, always turn that music down lower. Um, you got to find, you got to find that right happy medium, I guess you would call it. You turn it down as low as you want by left clicking and dragging it down. You can come over here. You can drag it down here. Come over here and drag it down. You got to find that happy medium where the music's not blaring real loud. Um, 
So let's see. Did we correct that? Oh. A little bit. A little bit. You can you, you just play around with it until you find a happy medium. Uh, now you want to start your next clip. You, you bring it in. You drag it in. I pull it down to this one. The reason you do that is because you have this sound off on this line here. It's completely off. Uh, if you pull it up here, you'll have no sound. Um, let me show you quick. All you do is left click, drag it over. Let me show you. If you go too far, it's going to say overwrite insert. You went too far. All right. Right click, takes you back, bring it up, pump it right up next to it. So now it's on that same timeline that I took the volume off. So here's what's going to happen. You got your fade, your music's fading. Nothing. Nothing. Because over here you had the volume off. If you click that volume on, the whole line's going to be on. So let me stop, bring it down here to this timeline here. Uh, and you can switch these timelines up. You can pull this one up here and this one down here. Um, it's however you want to do it. So now we have that set up. Let me bring this down. Come on, got to find it. It's very touchy there. Pull it down so you can see the whole screen. So now you have your whole display here. Hit play. Now it rolled into that one. All right, that's it. That's what's going on today. today. It's a very simple program. Um, maybe what I'll do is I, I'll upload. I'll upload videos and stuff like that. Maybe what I do is every day or so. It's kind of if people are interested, I'll upload, kind of show people how to use this program. Um, they're not paying me. I'm not getting anything for it. Um, it's just I want to show people, give you, give you free advice, <laughs> free advice. Um, if you look down in the corner, you see me talking. Uh, I spent a couple hours today just researching on how to set this up to where I'm down in the corner. On my own I didn't pay anybody <laughs> I did it on my own um, but you can just drag files and drag files in it there's so much you can do um, in here you know I, I can show you how to do uh, you know how to create thumbnails and how that all works um, once again cyber link cyber Power Director, Cyberlink Power Director 18 is what I'm using. Um, so you want to grab another file, put it in. If you want to fade, say you want to fade this one out. Double click left, there's your fade. Fades. Fade out. Okay. So this clip here will fade out. Bring your mouse over. Pull it to the left a little bit. And you want this one to fade in. There's your fade again. Fade in. Okay. Now it's the opposite. Bring your mouse up, hold on the left side, drag it over. And you're going to fade in out one video and fade in another video. To, uh, Fading out. You can fade out the volume if you want to. See that faded out? Now that one's fading in. You want to remove that? Right click, come up, remove. If you say you have a clip up here, now we'll, we'll keep it down here. And you say you want to bring another clip. So you bring a clip down here. Set that in there. All right. Say now you want to get rid of this whole clip right here. You want this whole clip gone. Right click. Remove. Gives you an option. 
Remove and leave gap, remove and fill gap, remove and fill gap, and move all clips. At that one, it automatically does it for you. Say so you went, oh, I just made a mistake. Very simple. I'm right up here. There's this arrow right up here. Undo. Click the undo, and it brings everything back to you. Um, this, like I said, this is simple. And this is simple part of it. This program, there's a lot involved in it. Uh, I'm learning it. Like I said, you can do your thumbnails off of it. You can do your music. You can set it up to where, like I'm down in the corner down here, <laughs> kind of showing you guys how to do it. Um, but yeah, if, if people are interested and they say, yeah, you know, show us some more, you know, I want to start a YouTube channel. I don't know what programs to use. You know, I want to, the thing is, you want to spend a little bit of money to get some decent programming. Um, let me know. Just let me know. I'll, I will, I will keep putting these videos, uh, along with my other videos that I make. Um, advice is free. Starting, I, you know what, I, I didn't even get into how to start a YouTube channel. Just go on the YouTube, sign up. Um, follow the directions. It's very, very, very simple. Hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people sign up for YouTube every day. Um, just follow the directions. And you can create a YouTube channel that way. Um, but yes, Cyberlink Power Director. Uh, I will show you different ways uh, with different videos on how to upload the videos, how to render the videos, uh, how to import your videos, um, kind of like, like I said, a free course on how to do all this. Uh, I'm not going to give you fancy, fancy words and dazzle you with fancy words. I'm just going to keep it simple. Keeping it simple is how it's done. Um, and learning, learn on your own too. So anyways, if you're interested, leave the comments below. If you're not, say, I'm not interested, in it, but thanks for showing us. I'll keep watching your other videos. Um, that's great, too. Thumbs up or a thumbs down. Leave comments below. Uh, subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, take the time to subscribe, and we'll talk to you later.